All right, we are just weeks away from farmer's market season. Soon, Minnesotans are going to have access to all kinds of fresh fruits and vegetables grown right here in the state. In May, you're going to be able to find things like fresh asparagus and spinach and radishes and rhubarb. Part of the buckwheat family, rhubarb is a vegetable hardy enough for Minnesotan gardens. It's a sour flavor and is one of the first crops ready for harvest each spring. And Jamie Price is the creator of the food and lifestyle blog, So Happy You Liked It, and she brought three rhubarb recipes for us to try today. Welcome back. Thanks, guys. How, How are, are you? Going? Good morning. Good. Uh, rhubarb, I was rhubarb. just telling you, like, mm -hmm. I ripped it all out of my my backyard when we moved into our house not knowing what it was, and I, I kick myself every spring. I know. Well, and you said it best. It kind of looks like a weed, and I know some people that have compared it to a weed. Like, <laughs> some people in the South truly find it to be, like, just kind of a dirty plant. Aww. But in, in the North, we find ways to use it in a variety of different delicious ways. Well, see, I was shocked because when you say sour, for me, rhubarb is a strawberry rhubarb pie. For yeah. sure. And totally. that's all that I know mm -hmm. about rhubarb. Yes. Right? Yeah. Well, and yes, if you were to eat it raw, very tart, very sour, I've known people to just enjoy it with a little bit of honey. But traditionally, it's used in a lot of like sweet yeah. desserts, to your point, pie, cakes, muffins, crumbles, crisps, all that good stuff. So today, I do have a sweet recipe that I will share with you guys, but I also have a savory one. But I think we want to kick off yeah. with the beverage. Let's talk about this. Yes. This is an Aperol spritz. A rhubarb Aperol uh -huh. spritz. Okay, do tell. Okay, so Aperol spritz I would say a lot of people are familiar with. It's become wildly popular in the last couple years, probably thanks to a obsession with Italian culture. Mm. So with this one though, so a traditional Aperol spritz includes Aperol, which is an Italian bitter uh, liqueur or aperitif. Um, it also includes Prosecco, which is Italian sparkling wine, yep. um, and then sparkling water. But in my version, as you'll see here in this video, I'm showing you how I made a rhubarb simple syrup, which is very simple. You love a simple syrup <laughs> to jazz up because you have like a lavender. <clears throat> yes. French yep. 40s. French 75. So thank you. Yes, your favorite. <laughs> I don't know what it's called, but I know I like it. Okay, so yeah. tell us how you made the simple syrup. Yeah, just... so the simple syrup is literally equal parts Jeez. water and sugar and then chopped rhubarb. And you can infuse a simple syrup with any flavor. So that one you might need to stir up a little oh. bit. It might be a little sweet at the bottom. This is dangerous um, on a Sunday I know. afternoon on I know. Porch. On a hot day, yeah. yes. A true patio pounder, I like to call it. It's super good. The, the ribbon curl, though. I yeah, mean, the presentation guess, of this whole thing is yes. awesome. Rhub See, rhubarb can be beautiful, you guys. It can be <laughs> a pretty thing. just need Jamie to come to your house and prepare it for yeah. you. <laughs> All, All right. right. Next up, <clears throat> you yes. did something that is a little spicy. Mm -hmm. Okay, so savory rhubarb recipes are not something that you, well, I would say that if you were to search the internet, you could find a variety. I made a spicy rhubarb salsa, which now you can have it, sure, with chips if you want to just like munch it up. It is actually really, really delicious. It's blanched rhubarb though, so it's not oh, raw. Different. You could you could do raw rhubarb if you wanted, but I think the texture would be a little interesting. So a light blanch on the rhubarb, onion, so, and then the familiar cast of characters for salsa. You've got <clears throat> cilantro, onion, garlic. Um, there's a little bit, you kind of want to cut the sweetness, so I added a little bit of apple cider vinegar, a little good. agave yeah. syrup. So, yes, you can eat it with chips, but I've also presented it on, it would be great on um, grilled chicken, grilled fish, something like savory on top of a grilled protein or main dish would be a lovely idea as well. But it's also so light. Yeah. And that cilantro just gives it that really yes. fresh, fresh for me, bright. like spring mm -hmm. starting the summer yes. season. Yep, and you can personalize that. that however you want, so love it. And the last one, This is you guys. more kind of your oh, jam. This is right here. Thinking. This is okay. it right here. Thank you. Uh, oh, when it comes to desserts, right, it's very tough for me to choose favorites. But anything almond flavored, yeah. paired with something like a compote, like a strawberry rhubarb compote, I swoon. So this is an almond cake. It's intensely almond flavored, but it pairs so nicely with Fresh whipped cream. Oh my gosh. A strawberry rhubarb cone, but right. I mean, it's just. Wow. I, You're going to finish that? Yeah. I, like, I was going to say, if someone isn't going to eat oh that, gosh. I will. I have a wow. whole cake at home. It's so delicious and it's rather easy. The compote, though, strawberry rhubarb compote, that's literally rhubarb, strawberries, lemon juice, vanilla bean, and sugar. Sugar. On such an interesting pack. take on a weed. Mm. Yes. You know? <laughs> I mean, it's not a weed, but it's such an interesting take. You it know, is, though. 
on yes, this. Yes, this <laughs> is divine. So Jamie, good. All of this. I would do all. Okay, Jamie's coming to my next party. And we're starting with those. You say when. Ending with those. <laughs> Dinners, fish, and the salsa. Thank you, Jamie. You, guys. you can find more from Jamie on her website. So happy you liked it. We also posted a link on minnesotalive.com.